ki iya ijazah dede sama lagi. Once upon a time, in a cozy little town painted with vibrant colors and laughter, there lived a four-year-old boy named Ethan. Ethan was a curious and imaginative child with eyes that sparkled with joy and mischief. His small world was full of adventures, but none so grand as those he had with his favorite toy, a shiny blue robot named Robo. Robo wasn't just any toy, it was Ethan's best friend. Gifted to him on his fourth birthday by his loving grandparents, Robo was a sleek, medium-sized robot with glowing red eyes and a chest that lit up with neon blue lights whenever it talked. Its voice was friendly and robotic, and it could move its arms and legs with a smoothness that made Ethan giggle with delight. Every morning, Ethan would leap out of his bed and rush to where Robo was stationed on a little wooden desk near the window. He would greet Robo with a cheerful, good morning, and start his day by telling the robot about his dreams from the previous night. Ethan believed that Robo, with its blinking lights and beeping sounds, could understand every word he said. And in his heart, he felt that Robo listened better than anyone else. One sunny Saturday, Ethan decided it was time for a grand adventure. He put on his explorer hat, a little too big for his head, and declared to his mom, Mommy, Robo and I are going to explore the jungle today. The jungle was actually the small patch of garden behind their house. But to Ethan, it was as vast and mysterious as any jungle could be. With Robo tucked securely under his arm, Ethan embarked on his expedition. They trudged through tall grasses, which were just overgrown weeds, to the mighty Mount Sofa, a pile of cushions he had arranged in a corner of the yard. Ethan and Robo climbed the mountain, with Ethan narrating their brave ascent to the summit. We're almost there, Robo. Hold on tight, he exclaimed as he rearranged a cushion to make the climb less steep. Upon reaching the top, Ethan sat down with Robo and looked out over the expanse of their backyard. He shared his snack, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with Robo, carefully placing a tiny piece of bread in front of the robot, pretending that Robo could eat. As the day wore on, dark clouds began to roll in and a gentle rumble of thunder could be heard in the distance. Ethan's mom called out, Ethan, it's going to rain. Time to come inside. Reluctantly, Ethan picked up Robo and dashed back into the house, just as the first drops of rain began to fall. Once inside, Ethan took Robo to his room and cleaned him off with a dry cloth. We had a great adventure today, didn't we, Robo? He said. Ethan then carefully placed Robo back on the desk, ready for their next day's adventures. That evening, as Ethan lay in bed, he couldn't stop smiling as he recounted the day's adventures to his mom. And then Robo and I climbed Mount Sofa, and we could see the whole world from up there. His mom smiled, tucking him in and kissing him goodnight. And tomorrow, Ethan whispered to Robo as his eyes began to droop, we'll sail the seas in the bathtub. Be ready, Captain Robo. With dreams of new adventures swirling in his head, Ethan drifted off to sleep his hand touching Robo's cool, metallic arm. In his heart, Ethan knew every day was a new adventure waiting to happen, as long as Robo was by his side. 